Last episode, we built a tree that we really don't like very much. It's a little bit janky, but we also got a couple of buildings down that we're going to turn into shops. And that's actually what we're going to be doing on this episode. But first, we need to quickly go somewhere else. And that is over here in our industrial district, because over the last three weeks or so, we've been working on this area here, getting this drained out, getting it dug out, and of course, as you can see, putting in lots and lots of black concrete. However, we've run out and we can't get this last bit finished until we get some more sand. At least that's what I thought. And then when I came over here earlier, look what I found other than a massive party of mobs. Hmm, yeah, I should probably get some lights down there. But more importantly, I found this. And Zloy, the wonderful, wonderful Zloy, has been by and has just dropped off an absolute buttload of sand. He did actually help me place loads of this concrete as well, so what an absolute legend. So the very first thing we're going to do is quickly get this finished. So we're going to convert what we need from this into concrete, and then after that we're going to go do something nice for Zloy, and I so nearly fell down that beacon hole. Oof! And just like that, we are complete. We now have a massive void hole thing that we'll probably do something with in the future. Excellent. But that is a massive space for us to work with. And I do have a few ideas, but we're going to be saving that for a future episode. For now, we need to get back to our mega build, which is in this direction. And we need to get our portal set up and we need to actually set up our first shop. And I think that's going to be a gunpowder shop and some TNT maybe. But I'm probably not going to display any of that after what happened last season when TNT was on display. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's, there's a lot of TNT up there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa! No. What? 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 No! So we're definitely going to play it a little bit safer over here. And yeah, that's also going to involve getting some lighting in, decorating these two on the interiors, getting two shops open, and as I said, connecting up our portal. First up, we're going to work on this building here, and this is going to be our TNT shop. And we've got a couple of floors in here. Well, in fact, we've actually got three. However, I'm wondering if we do something a little bit funky, maybe have a couple of minecarts going around at the top there, and then down the bottom is where we can actually sell everything. It's not just going to be TNT, however. We will, of course, be selling gunpowder as well, mainly because sand is an absolute nightmare. Wasn't sure where to put them. I don't know if... You... Ah, our sand order from Tiz. I mean, we've literally got an inventory full of sand. Zloy has given us lots of sand, and now Tiz is dropping some off. But we did order this from Tiz, and I do indeed still want that. So, uh, yeah, I'll sort out some diamonds for that in just a moment. Let's see what we can do about this interior. I think what I want to do is maybe put some barrels along the back here where we can store some gunpowder. And I just want to get a couple of shelves in and maybe a counter, and that will pretty much do it for down here. And then upstairs, I want to actually sell TNT. So we'll do a slightly different layout, of course, because we've got windows to work with as well. And then maybe up here, we'll have a play around with some mine carts, maybe have something going around the ceiling. I don't know. That just sounds dangerous, because if we did that, it'd have to be a TNT mine cart. And that just seems like it'll be asking for trouble. So let's have a little mess around in here and see what we can come up with. Well, I think I've got the basics in. I just need to actually start putting in a little bit more of the detail. We need to get some plants in the pots. We need to get some things in the frames. And, of course, we need to stock it. But I think I also want to get one of my avatars in here. Making some more progress on the interior here. I forgot to mention I did actually open up the floor up the top here as well, just to give a bit more of a sort of visual. It was a little bit flat, basically. So I've raised up the ceiling a little bit, and I've managed to get some stuff in. The only thing I really wish I had that I don't have any of whatsoever is TNT mini blocks, because they would suit really well in here. I really don't want to use live TNT. That, Like I said, that's just asking for trouble. However, what we do still need to do, of course is to get a Beardstone avatar in. And I don't really know what we want him doing. I'm going to have a little play around. Let's see. To be honest, I feel like face palming is fairly accurate for a TNT shop, especially one that I'm involved with. But what we can also do is change what Beardstone is wearing. We don't really want him as a knight in here, but I think a peasant running the shop, that seems about right. And the last thing I want to do it's just to lock him, because if I don't lock him, Zloy's going to come by and throw a head on him. Just what he does. So for now, that's the interior done. We do, of course, still need to stock it, but we also need to have a little bit more representation out the front here. There's nothing that really says what this place is. And for that, we're going to need to put a sign up of some kind. Although, to be honest, just hanging a TNT block is very tempting. Very dangerous, but it's very tempting. Hmm. 
Oh, it's got to be done, hasn't it? The TNT hanging just looks so much better than having signs. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the danger and just hope that nothing bad happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think lastly, just to make doubly sure we know what's in there, I will put up a sign. There we go, Splody Boom Booms, perfect. I think that's probably more than enough TNT really, don't you? So with that done, we've just got to get our stock in and our first shop will be open. And I think that's what we're going to use this sand for. We'll actually just use this to make loads of TNT and at least get this place started. And that's our first shop ready to open. But we've still got an empty one next door. And I think I know exactly what I want to do with this place as well. We've even put in a couple of windows in preparation. I'm too paranoid. I haven't lit up the area properly. There's going to be creepers and all sorts. What we'll do is we'll try and get hold of some mini blocks and put them in there. I just, I don't trust myself. And I don't trust his. It just feels safer, you know? I'll just leave the one hanging there, because at least that's going to be minimal damage and isn't going to cause a chain reaction. Because there's no live TNT inside either. I'm not that silly. I, I I literally don't believe it. So that last clip was actually recorded at about 2 in the morning, as you can probably tell by my change of tone of voice between then and now. But, um, yeah, I was up quite late last night getting this sorted and so on. And, of course, stocking it all up. We're not even officially opened yet. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, there seems to be seems to be a slight problem in that every well, I say it's not really a problem. I mean it's an effective shop, I guess. But every single item has been bought out. Even the sort of excess overflow backup items have gone. Except this barrel here wasn't discovered because it's hidden behind a frame. So we've still got a tiny bit of TNT left, which somebody hasn't discovered. But other than that, the entire shop is now out of stock. And we haven't even probably opened yet. So that means Dr. Beardstone has got his work cut out. And he's going to be AFK over at the mob farm for another few days. But in the meantime, we're going to get to work on this shop here. And this is actually going to be our gold shop. Because as far as I know, there's nobody selling gold on the server. And I don't even know if there's any demand for it. I, I really have no idea. But I've got loads of gold and I don't really need it. So I think a gold shop's going to sit really nicely here. We can get some armor stands in the windows with gold armor. We can sell blocks of gold. We can sell gold ingots. And that's about it. There's no point selling any other gold items because nobody actually uses them after all. But I think we can make quite a nice little shop for that here. And then, of course, we can finally link up the portal and open up. And the time it'll take me to do the gold, at least maybe I can get some more some more gunpowder to restock the shop. I'm kind of curious as to how much I've actually made, though. Well, for a shop that's not even officially open, I'd say that's pretty good going. There's almost three stacks of diamonds, which I'm sure won't last me long because I've got a terrible spending problem this season. So we've got a bit of a weird shaped building. How do I want this? to look hmm maybe something a little bit like that yeah i think that's gonna work so we've actually just got off of stream and well this is what we did on stream we also played some mario kart in minecraft but that's a story for another day but although simple i do quite like how this is i mean you know you walk in and it's fairly obvious what it is you're going to be buying, right? So we've got a few displays here. We're using the custom armor stands just to display some different gold items. We've got our window display set up, which, to be honest, do look a lot better from outside than they do from inside. We've got chests of gold available for sale. We've got prices loaded up. And, of course, we've got a beardstone dude kind of trying to sell gold again. Um... Yeah, we might need to vary these up with some other people at some point. Upstairs, there is nothing useful whatsoever. Just big piles of gold on floors that I can only assume are very, very sturdy if they can hold all this weight. And then we've got a giant armor stand on the corner just because there was space. So I think I could probably do with getting a few hanging lights in, maybe a few other minor details and things. But overall, this is basically ready to start selling stuff. And ultimately, that's what it's here for. I have, of course, also made the outside look a bit nicer as well. We've got our gold sign hanging. We've got a pile of gold. We've got a little wagon with some gold on it. And once again, we've got an armor stand just showing that there's gold. So yeah, lots of gold. We've also restocked our TNT shop, at least as much as we can for now. We've still got a lot more AFK to do in order to get it fully restocked. But I think we're pretty much ready to actually open these shops properly now. And that means we need to link up the portal. So first things first, I need to find out the exact coordinates of where this lines up in the nether. And luckily we can do that with an armor stand and a banner. I don't have a banner. Let's quickly steal some wool. So if we keep clicking this once he's got a banner, we should be able to get nether coordinates. There we go. So we want minus 129 by positive 86. So let's grab some obsidian, some flint and steel, and let's have a look to see where that actually brings us out. And hopefully we can find a nice way to actually connect it to the main tunnel. Although before we go, I am going to light the portal on this side, but we're not going to go through it just yet. We'll make sure we go through it from the other side 
that should help it to link up properly. So we need to go about 20 blocks that way. This could be a problem. Uh, oh, and then about 30 blocks that way. Let's take a little path off of here for now and find the spot where it all links up and then we'll figure it out from there. So that brings us to about here. So let's get a small portal in and hope it links up. But thankfully, because of Foxy's armor stands, that shouldn't be too much of an issue because we should have the exact coordinates we need. Let's try this out. Oh, fingers crossed. Please take me to my shopping area. Excellent, it works. Brilliant. And if we go back through, hopefully it'll link up to the right one, which it does. We just need to make a lot more space around here. And of course, we need to make it safe. So we have a bit more of a solid bridge in here. And now what we need to do is figure out how we're actually going to link this up to the main portal hub. And that is, of course, over here. The problem is we appear to have a bit of a shop in the way for the most direct route. But I mean, this could work out quite conveniently. Is this it is? Okay, so how, oh, do, do you reckon we can just take over unit 13, move out of unit 9, take over unit 13, and have like a sort of Narnia type thing where you go into this little mini shop, because that's essentially what these are, right? These are mini shops for people. Why not make ours into a shopping district? And we can just <laughs> literally have it, so you go through here and this goes directly into our shopping area. I think that could actually work really well. I mean, it's an opportunity that's just presented itself here, and maybe we should take advantage of that. Although it would probably also be wise for me to link it up to the main portal hub as well a bit more directly. But I think having a little entrance here is just, it's too good an opportunity. We've got to do it. So what we'll do, as I say, is we'll actually just move this. Let's quickly take all the carpets. We'll put this door in as if it was always here. And then we'll put our sign back on. Preferably without shouting at people. And, well, I mean, it's it's clearly got a bit of a roof problem currently. But, yeah, I think we can definitely make this work. I've just got to figure out what I want to actually do with the tunnel, how I want it to look. And, of course, I need to get some resources to make it happen. So, at the start of the series, we made this tunnel here, which is uh, long and pretty much unused. We essentially got it built and then we went and got ourselves wings. But this was actually to get us over to our main area. But this link here between Spawn Town and what will, of course, be our main city and our shopping area, I think this kind of style is going to work well in the Nether as well. It's going to show that it's mine, show you what to expect on the other side. A, a city, I guess. And it looks like a travelling path. So if we were to do something like this and maybe get a wagon or two down, a couple of these peasants, and what is going on here? Why are you so large? What's happened to your head? So many questions. And what is going on over there? Oh my, okay, right, I've not been back to spawn for a week or so. Seems like it's all kicking off over at Chaos Hill. It's a giant guardian fish. And what's that? There's a massive picture frame as well. Wait a minute. Is that... Mountain, mountain, mountain. Zap space. Is that... <laughs> Has someone literally remade... Remade the view in a giant picture. I have mountain, 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 zap space. That's literally a picture of th That's awesome. I mean, it's been smashed up as well. And, ooh, new hot tub. Oh, well, now this I approve of. There's much more space. That means the next meeting can be much more fun. Excellent. Right, we're getting distracted. We're getting distracted here. This is, um... Certainly changed, though. Very cool. I think the name Chaos Hill is definitely fitting. I mean, what a mess. I just wanted a nice house. We managed to pull ourselves away from the distractions and we've actually made some good progress here on door number 13, which is of course going to be our entrance. And I really think this is going to work quite well. As you can see, we've just blocked out the basic shape at the moment. We do of course need to texture it. And the main thing we need to bear in mind is that everything must be 100% spawn proof because otherwise we're going to end up with magma cubes even if it's literally just like that top of the block there if that slab wasn't there just that little one by one bit magma cubes that they'll spawn there because that's what they do they're just horrible so we need to check every single spot and bits like this and this for example we need to either put fences or buttons or something on them but as i say this is just marking out the main shape at the moment we do need to get all the texture in we need to make it look nice and I think that's going to be our next step. And thinking about it, it might be nice to get a couple of wagons, maybe some traders going backwards and forwards on this road as well, just to give the road a little bit of life. 
And of course, we're going to need to make sure that we clearly signpost that that's what's actually going on over here, that it is a link to our main shopping area. Now, that is what I'm talking about. That's looking much better. It's more alive in here. It's not just a random shape anymore. And I think it should be 100% spawn proof. I think the wagons here really add a little bit as well. And I added a little tears on the back here. I found a pirate version of his skin that was on the avatar and... Uh, well, I think that fits in well enough. We also have signs up here, which I do want to get a bit of dye on, and some glow ink and so on, but I need to go grab those bits and bobs. And lastly, what I do want to do, because obviously it's a little bit hidden, the entrance is a little bit hidden, I do want to put something here that sort of says that Beardy's in there with the shop. I don't know, maybe an avatar out here sort of pointing in that way or something like that would be an idea. Just a simple statue and a sign like that should do. Unit 13, the Narnia of TB. Hopefully that'll make some people curious. And then through here, we just want to make these things a little bit more visible. There we go. Can't really go wrong with that. And with that, I think we are done over here. We have two stocked shops, no longer fully stocked, but at least we managed to get some stock back in there. This one is very well stocked. And of course, we have our nether connection. I may still connect it up to the main nether hub at some point in future, but I think this should actually work quite well. And once people know it's here, I don't see it being a problem. So there's still one thing left to do. As you may remember, Zloy did help us out at the beginning of the episode with lots and lots of sand. And halfway through recording the episode, we did actually bump into Zloy over at our industrial district. Hi. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Good eye. You got... Uh, yes, I do. I, I, I actually have other gifts for you as well. Can I just say, thank you so yeah. much for that sand. Have you seen, have you seen what I've been able to accomplish with the sand you dropped off for me? You made void! Uh, I did. I did. Ignore the white squares, that's just showing where the, uh, slime chunks are. But, uh, yes, I made void, and I will eventually you, you do made, something with it. You made it so that there's nothing here. Basically, yeah. Everyone always says to me, whenever I build stuff over the ocean, they're always like, oh, have you connected it to the seafloor? Have you connected it to the seafloor? No, I've removed the seafloor. Oh, okay, cool. So you're just highlighting that you did, in fact, not. Mm hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, wonderful. Yep. So yep. Sp th there was some talking about the spooderai. Yes, yes, spooderai. So uh, up here, I believe I should have plenty. I've been collecting them uh, over here. Awesome. So I'm just gonna take out nine stacks of it because I'm assuming this is just garbage for everyone. Uh, yes. Maybe poxy. Yeah, literally take whatever you want. Take whatever you want. But I, I've got I, I've got something else that may be of interest to you as well. Do tell. Well, you are the potion man, right? Mm, I mean, I'm trying to be. Okay. Well, I've got something that can help with that. Uh, follow me. We need to go over to Tower Two. In here. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the bottom row. See the rabbit Ooh. feet. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You can have those as well, Zloy. As a thank you for thank the sand. You. Thank you. They give a jump boost. Nobody's gonna want that. <laughs> no, but you can... Because uh, they just use beacons instead. Yeah, it's... It, 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 shh. Thank you so much. No, that, that, that's not the point. The point is I'm not gonna use them and you're more I was not to. gonna even make a farm for them. But I, for completionism's sake, I need, like, a lot just to fill it in, just to... You know, bragging rights. So thank you so, so exactly. much. Exactly. Made me actually a lot of like left clicking a rabbit. Mhm. Mm exactly. And uh, as I say, I'll, I'm never gonna have any use for them. Well, enjoy. I, I hope that helps somewhat. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's all from me today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye bye now.